Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and tonight I'm going to try something a little bit different. I don't know if you guys are even going to like it, but here we go. We're going to do a mud adventure, and you guys are going to actually get to see what I do inside the mud and how I play. Maybe this will give you a little bit of an idea of what I enjoy most about this. And tonight we are joined by Helicopter Fun. What's up, Heli? Uh, not much. So um, I see that you've been playing the mud for a little while. Yep, I got to level 31. Been grinding a lot. <laughs> Woo! So, I'm just going to take a look real quick. And basically, we are standing at the newbie stand. Uh, Ellie, if you could go ahead and do follow on. Yep. From the newbie stand, if you go to the Adventurers Guild, and actually, what I'm going to do is I'm not going to explain anything. I'm just going to read the rooms as I move through them. And then when, once uh, once I need Heli to do something, I'll just say it. Here we go. <clears throat> the newbie stand. You are standing at the intersection of Main Street and Royal. The Royal Church is off to your west, and the general store is off to the southeast. And the Adventurer's Guild is off to the southwest. So we need to go to the Adventurer's Guild. Going to head south on Royal Street. You are on a short lane called Royal Way. It is wide alley. It is a wide alley connecting the Main Street to King's Lane. To the north is newbie stand. To the west is the Adventurer's Guild. We're going to head to the west. Uh, inside the Adventurers Guild, players such as yourself come here to boast about their daring feats of bravery or leave messages or warnings to, to other players. They brag about their feats at, such as killing the two-headed dragons and taking out the castle full of guards. Many a tale have been told here. Perhaps you have one to share. Though uh, through a shimmering blue field, you can see a stairway leading down. An adventure, an adventure team information center and armory can be found one room up. The wood paneled entrance, <laughs> the wood paneled entrance to the Gateway Gentlemen's Club lies just to your west. Uh, we're going to head to the south. This is the quest information room. You have entered a, ha uh, a hallowed quest information room. Large tapestries of ferocious battles hang stoutly on the western wall. Uh, while various paintings of brave explorers uh, wielding large torch torches line the eastern wall. I forgot to start the music. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> there we go. Get you guys a little bit of ambience in the background. Usually when I'm playing, I, I play music in the background as well. So, <clears throat> inside the quest information room, if you do read, read tome. All right. Hallie, just follow along with me. Type read tome. Yep. These are all the different various quests that you can do. Um, as you know, you, you found the newbie areas and you go and you grind on newbie things up until about level 30 or 30%. Um, just so you guys know, my score is I am health. The priest health who is saintly. I am the, uh, uh, in the, priest, the guild priesthood of Sienna. I am a human. And basically, I'm a cleric, so I heal other people, and I fight for the righteous and the good of things. So, um, I go around healing people, and if you're inside the game, I should be able to resurrect you once I get to, like, level 90 or something like that. That's so, quite a bit of a to go. It's a, it's a bit of a grind up there, so. Um, go ahead and read one. Now, I've already completed this. I completed it yesterday, but I wanted to make sure it was going to be short enough that it would make a good story. The Blind Dwarf. The dwarf's boy's, uh, the dwarf boy's father lies on his pallet, remembering the past days when he was well. Can you help alleviate his condition? Seek in the domain of Callus. Value 4. Combat 1. Thought 2. Exploration 1. Hallie turns to page 1 and reads... Uh, Heli turns to page one and reads The Blind Dwarf. So, um, if we've already traveled through a room, I'm not going to read the description again. I'm just going to tell you where I'm going. So, we're in the quest room. I'm going to go northeast, north. We're back at the newbie stand. So, we need to head to Callus. To get to Callus, we're going to head through the Royal Church. I just went west. You are now in the Royal Church of Camos no City. It is here that the players come to pray for resurrection after meeting an untimely death. The main street to Kamonosho, I'm just going to call it Chaos, Chaos, capital city, is to the east, and there's an arched portal to the west that leads to Crystal. Heavy doors hinged on the portal are hinged to the portal. So we're going to head to the west. 
Chapel Road. You are standing on a stone path which leads to a quiet little chapel in the distance to the south. Lush green lawns created by nature itself surround you. The wild wildflowers sprinkle the serene scene with their beauty and fragrance. A stone archway leads uh, alone leads to the east. Lover's Park can be found to the west, and a strange path leads to the north. If you look, there's a large golden mirror here. So what we're going to do is we're going to step into the mirror. I don't know. Does does it follow? Did you follow me through? You yep, did. I did. Sweet. So if you step into that large golden mirror, you're now in the um, domain of crystal. So the newbie stand is in underground. We just passed through a different domain and we're in a completely different area. The Grand Cathedral of St. Camille. You stand in the nave of the Grand Cathedral of St. Camille. The vaulted ceiling tower more than a hundred feet above your head. To the west is the main doors to the street. The majesty of this structure humbles you. You understand why lost souls come here, come to such places to pray for another opportunity to live. You notice a shimmering door to the east. We are going to head west out the door. Oh, it's too dark. Um, I don't know. Do you want to cast light? If you're a cleric, you have the spells. If you're not a cleric, you're going to have to have some kind of light source for crystal. Um, if you are a cleric, just type light on. So let's do look so we can see again. We're on the village road. You stand on the center of the village road of Camille. The road through the village... <clears throat> wow. The road through the village runs north and south. It cobbles. Its cobbled surface is in good repair. To the east is the Grand Cathedral. It looks very out of place considering what the population of this village must be. To the west is an equally conspicuous pub. <laughs> yes, there is pubs in here. It's medieval times. Okay, we're heading south. <laughs> we need to head around the, uh, around the pub. Village Road. You are standing in the southern limits of the village of Camille. To the north is the village center, such as it is. Wait, to the north is the village center as... Okay. What makes it stand out is the huge cathedral that dominates Camille. To the south of the highway continues onward through the rolling hills. A newer looking building is to the east uh, with a sign, uh, sign above it that reads Bank of Crystal. You notice a small path leading to the west to the south of the casino. We're going to head west. Dirt Path. So we're walking behind the casino pub area. You are walking along the dirt path that hug, hugs the south wall of the casino. It seems to be a well-used path. Hold on, that's a little bit loud. Here, let's just switch the reel. <clears throat> uh, it seems to be a well-used path. You have no idea, but you have no idea where it might lead, and there is nothing to give you a clue. The path continues west. So we're gonna head west one more time. There's an old ranger here. We're not we're not gonna to talk to him at the moment. What happened there? Okay, oh, there we go. Dirt path. You are at the rear corner of the casino. The path heads east towards the main road. Behind the casino to the northwest is a large field of trampled grass. A large contraption sits in the middle of the field. You can't make out what it is from the distance. A small, oddly shaped rock sits on the side of the road. Hmm, I'm gonna take a look at the rock. <laughs> so if you type look rock, upon closer inspection, the rock turns out to be a statue of a tiny pixie wearing a shirt with a strange looking wheel on the front. The wheel has a wing, a wing apparently growing out of it, and the entire emblem is done in red. The diminutive, dim, diminutive stone pixie also carries a stick with the end bent and an odd angle. Okay. Beneath the statue, on a slightly withered brass plaque, uh, you can make out the words, Here you are, Wendy. <laughs> Lindros sucks. He. <laughs> DM. Uh, the abbreviations DM are from Darkman. He was one of the original creators. He's also the guy that creates the web page and stuff like that. So, All right. Heading to the northwest into the large field. 
You stand in the large field behind the casino. <clears throat> Dominating this field is a huge catapult standing 40 feet tall. The great arm of the tra... tra, bucket? tra tray bucket? I don't know how to pronounce that. Is almost 60 feet in length and could probably throw an object out of sight. What the contraption is doing here is a mystery. Apart from the cat catapult and the trampled grass, the only item of interest is a small sign nailed to the wall of the building. Off to the west, you see a tunnel-like passage that leads through a very heavy underbrush there. Uh, you will be scraped by the brambles, but you should be able to pass through relatively unharmed. So, I already know what to do. If you guys want, you could read it. So, I'm just going to type Haven. An attendant rushes over to accept your fee. You step gingerly into the sling and close your eyes. With a sickening lurch, you are airborne. <laughs> Heli falls down from the sky. You land in Haven. So, if we take a look. A small field with a catapult uh, and a large shiny portal. This is a small field. The grass seems kind of worn out and a huge catapult can be seen at the end of it. Uh, at the north end of the field is a large shiny portal that grabs your attention with its bright shimmering radiance. Now, uh, nice job on the hammer and the, the robes. <laughs> now, if we head south from here, all right, there's a room with a pie. <laughs> don't, don't steal the pie unless you know what you're doing. Uh, if you look at the pie, it says, it's a pie hanging from a very long string with a little sign sticking out of it. So if we read the sign, it says, pie warning, do not steal, Acme Pie Company. Now everybody that's watched cartoons know that Acme is an anvil company that creates anvils for cartoons. So, I'm going to steal the pie. <laughs> As you grab the pie, the string attached to it begins to fall to the ground. It's go Okay, north. <laughs> the string is still falling, creating quite a bit of pile at your feet. I'll warn you, if you stay in that room, a 16-ton anvil will come down and smash your character, and you will die. But, if you look in your inventory, take an eye, I now have a lemon meringue pie. I'm going to use this in just a second. Uh, are you still with me? Yeah, hell yeah. Heli strides in from the south. So from here, we're going to head out to the east. We're now on the south road inside Haven. The road is winding through the forest. There is trees growing thickly all around the road. A guard just came in. Oh, two guards just came in and left. Okay. All around the road. The trees are straight and tall. Dense underbrush is growing everywhere. To the south, you see the beach. Uh, you see a beach. The road continues south and north. There is a small field lying to the west and a huge machine of some sort seems to fill most of the small field. So we're gonna head south. Into the road. This spot marks the terminus of the south road. To the south is a large stony beach stretching to the east and to the west. And to the east and west. A light breeze blows in from the sea. The road continues to the north. So we're gonna head south one more time. We're on the beach. The road ends on a stony beach. The light breeze blows off the blows off the ocean. To the north, you see at the edge of the forest, there is a small road leading through it. To the south, there is a pole bridge and leading to the adventurers, uh, adventurers village. Adventurers village. So there's an old man standing here. His name is Dukas, I think. Do you came something? If you do look, man. Um, da -da 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 as you look at the man more closely, you notice that his black robes and white staff, he seems to be emitting an aura of magic, and you are certain that this is the old and this is an old powerful wizard. He looks kind of unsolid. You wonder if it might be a projection of some uh, somewhere. You notice your wait. He notices your interest and says, "Give me an item, and I will divide the sea." <clears throat> this elf is in perfect shape. Dukas, yeah, D D U K I S, is carrying black robe with black uh, blue stars, and a ruined staff. So, I'm going to give pie to man. Give pie to man. You give the lemon meringue pie to Dukas. The wizard lifts his rod and stretches out his hand over the sea, and the wizard causes the sea to go back to a strong causes the sea to go back by a strong wind and makes the sea dry land. The uh, 
and the water waters are divided. So now we're going to enter the sea. Now did the did it close up behind you? Uh no, because I give the mana pie. Okay. So just enter the sea and you should be able to come with me. And I think my music just ended. <laughs> oh. We're definitely 15 minutes into the game, by the way. <laughs> How do I do that again? Uh, give pi to man, and yeah, then enter the sea is the command. Okay. There you go. Suddenly, a huge wave splashes, uh, washes something up on the beach. If we take a look, ah, oh, it's Deacon Helly. Wait, hello there, sir. <laughs> uh, I don't know, do you? Yeah. Okay, you don't have to follow again because you're already following. So the place where we landed, waves wash up onto the rocky beach here. To the west, a, a path wanders into the beautiful forest through tree spires. You think you can see the remains of an old stone keep. The beach runs north, carving, curving out of the east in the distance. So there's an old man and a skull digger here. Um, I would show you something else on the quest, but we're, we're on a mission for the blind elf, or blind dwarf. So I headed south once. You are standing on the narrow beach that runs north and south. Far south, you can see the very top of a lighthouse. Small rolling dunes of sand form a miniature desert. So we're going to head south again. Beach running north. A small beach runs north here along the coast. To the south, you can see the top of a lighthouse. To the west is a tall cliff wall, which looks possible to scale. And yes, if we were to scale the the cliff we could actually go in through a secret entrance but i didn't tell you that we're gonna head south one more time Ooh. road near cliff uh the road curves around the harbor here winding towards the city and becoming narrow as it reaches in the direction of the ocean a tall slender tower is off to the south eastward are several meters below eastward and several meters below you uh, you see the great ocean waves splashing violently against the cliff base that you are standing on. So from here, we're going to head west. Northeast Road. Northeast Road. The road runs next to the harbor cliff uh, that is to the south. The water of the harbor is only a few meters below. The cliff seems to grow higher as you walk east. So we're actually walking down, I guess. Head west again. Northeast Road. This road runs next to the harbor cliff, which this is the exact same description, I think. A few meters below the cliff. The cliff seems to grow higher as you walk towards the east. The harbor is to the west, and you can see a platform and a large pier. Oh, we're getting closer to the city. All right. North Road. You are on the north of the... Whoa. You are north of a large wooden platform that leads to the, a pier that reaches into the harbor. To the east, you see a tall tower off in the distance. It looks as if the tower is on the water's edge. West, the road continues towards the city. So I think I have to go south from here on a platform by the pier. Yep, okay. Uh, you are standing on a platform made of logs which has been bound together. To the south is a long, wide pier. The road, to the, the road is north of you. Head south again on the pier the pier is just out of the water it it is a meter above the water and well oh, wow wow hold on coffee break gotta gotta get some coffee in there oh no the coffee's gone no okay the pier juts into the water it is a meter above the water Above the water, there are large round logs that support the pier and disappear into the water. The top of the logs are used to anchor ships to the pier. Okay, so this is not where we need to go. So I'm going to go back up to north north. And we're going to head west. So that, that pier is something else. We're on the north road. You are on a smooth stone road that is north of the harbor. You, uh, to the south of the road, to the south of the road runs to the top of the cliff and it has a nice view of the harbor and new Calus. the cliff here is only about two meters above the water 
but that changes with the tide. Uh, your spell just disband, dispelled for your armor. Yeah, I casted it again. Oh, uh, should probably. I, I don't need to do that yet. We're we're in a safe area. So I just headed west, uh, road north of the warehouse. The road turns here by the northwest corner of the warehouse. Small ruts have been worn into the road by the iron-covered wheeled wheels of wagons. The path has been cleared through the lava to the. The path has been cleared through a a path. Wow. <laughs> sorry, sorry. A path has been cleared through the lava to the north. A small distance away, you can see the two alchemist towers. There's two alchemist towers. Oh well. So basically, I think what's uh, if I remember the story right, Callus used to be a grand city and it was destroyed by a volcano of some kind with a whole bunch of lava. So now we're heading to New Callus, which is where our adventure awaits. Did I head west from here? Yeah, now we need to go south. Northwest Road. The road goes around the warehouse and turns to the east. The warehouse is built on several wide tree poles that hold it above the water. Level water level during high tide. The warehouse looks very tall, or at least two stories inside. <clears throat> there are some small windows near the roof of the warehouse. A heavy log platform, a heavy log platform crosses the small gap between the warehouse and the cliff. It leads to a pair of five meter doors. So we're gonna head south one more time. North road runs, right, the road runs north to south from here. To the east is a very large warehouse, but there is no entrance from here. West is a large jagged wall of hardened lava from a great eruption. It is too jagged to safely climb. So we're gonna head south one more time. Road west of the dock area. You are standing on the city road. To the east is a wooden platform made of logs that you have that have been bound together. To the west is a wall of hardened lava. In several places you see what looks like looks to be a wait, looks to be masonry and brick sticking out from the lava. Unfortunately, it forms many shape sharp points and edges that make climbing impossible. So I think we can go one more south. Road by the pub. Hold on. Let me just take a look. Okay. Road by the pub. <clears throat> the road runs between two buildings. The buildings on the west has a sign with a ship painted on it. The building to the west has a picture of several people sitting in a steaming pool of water with mugs in their hands. The road runs north and south. So there are the pubs to the west and... The ship right, I think, is to the east. And if we continue the series, absolutely keep that in mind. We're going to head south one more time. Road west of the training academy. You are standing just south of the Callus, Callus pub. There, uh, blah, blah, blah. To the east, you can see a large, low structure built, uh, built of filled stone with a slanting wood roof. A large, airy... Wow wood roof, and large airy windows. The sign in front of the building shows two crossed swords. So from here, I'm going to head west. Oh no, I can't head west. South. <laughs> Road north of the outpost. To the west, is <coughs> the cooled and hardened lava looks smooth enough to walk across. The uh, To the west, you see pieces of brick and a section of the stone wall that looks as if it had sur have survived the eruption. Far off to the west, you see a you see the church spire rising up into the sky. So from here, let's head west. East of the spire, you stand on a smooth, worn path that runs over hardened lava. All around you is debris from a great eruption many years ago. Bricks. Uh, bricks, rocks, and the remains of some buildings is all that is left standing. A small, narrow crevice has been opened in the ground here. So we're going to head west one more time, just so you, you know where the boy's at. At the spire. This is a great clearing in which you would otherwise be surrounded by ruins of old callus. In the center, 
In the center of the clearing is a tall stone spire that rises high above you. The bottom of the spire disappears into a hardened lava, burying the church under tons of lava. A large window forms an entrance that goes down into the spire. The callous bank is just to the north. Wow, the music changed right then to the choir. So, all right, so here's the boy. And if you sit long enough with him, he should give you some clues. You can do, look, boy. Uh, this small dwarf boy is dressed in rags. He wears a small pouch on his side. You notice that he is barefoot. The dwarf is in perfect shape. He's carrying a callus map and a pouch. The dwarf boy smiles at you. Aww, break my heart. Okay, you ready? We're gonna head back east one time. Do you remember that crevice? I do. Type look crevice. It looks as if there's a, a room or a chamber at the bottom. So even though the entrances say east and west, we're gonna type down. Ooh. You managed to climb down into the crevice. So, uh, I'm going to do my magical vestments, stone skin, and spiritual hammer. Wait, there's stone skin? Yeah. At level 40, you get stone skin. Mine's marble. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to type look. Uh, I'm going to type look one more time. Uh, you were at the bottom of the crevice. Large rocks and bricks and loose dirt cover the ground. It smells as if something has been living down here. A small pile of straw is in one of the corners. Down here, uh, we see a small knife and a gerbling. Gibberling. All right, if we look at gibberling, we can tell what it is. This is a very tiny gibberling. It is covered with matter black, matter black fur and smells awful. He has tiny but sharp looking claws. The gerbling is in perfect shape. Gerberlin looks at you closely. He growls deeply. Takes a step away from you. Takes a step away from you. So, Andy's wielding a knife. Great. So, uh, our obvious exits are west and east and up. If we try and go west, Gerberlin says, No! You can't let you go in there! Gerberlin looks at you nervously. Okay, so let's head to the east. Room with a skeleton. You stand in the remains of a building. It is covered with lava during the eruption and is now an underground room. The room is filled with debris like the others, only you see a skeleton here. So type look skeleton. The skeleton has been stripped of anything it may have had, had in life. All that remains are some small bones. The bones are splintered and chipped. You would guess that this would, these, bleh, you would guess they were from a dwarf. Uh, search skeleton. You search, but you fail to find anything of interest. All right, it also said there was debris. So look, debris. There is no debris here. Um, I think that's it in this room. We can travel east and west. So let's travel to the east. This room is dominated by a large steel gate on the east side of the room. The gate is open out to Callus Bay and waves splash into the room. An open doorway leads to the north. So let's head to the north. Large room. In the middle of this large room is a small stool. A pile of wood has been collected against the wall. Against another wall is a bed of straw. It looks as if somebody has attempted to clean this room. Old Dwarf. The old dwarf yawns. I'm gonna take a look at the dwarf. Oops, I spelled that wrong. Dwarf. The beard of this dwarf has turned gray and his body is slumped over. It is obvious that he has seen better days and that his remaining days will be few. He stares off into space, never looking at you. His eyes have a strange whiteness to them. This dwarf is in perfect shape. The dwarf yawns. Okay, so I'm not going to read back off the descriptions, but we're going to head south and west and west back to the Gibberling. 
We need to disperse of the gibberling. Do you want? Do you want to fight him? Yeah, sure. Why not? Go for it. <clears throat> I will let my protege handle the gibberling. Gibber, gibberling, gibberling, gibberling. Heli wallops the gerbiling hard, uh, smacks the gerbiling audibly. The gerbiling lunges at Heli but misses. The hammers, uh, Heli hammers the wind right out of the gerbiling. Gerbiling. The gerbiling cuts Heli lightly on the arm. Heli wallops the uh, gerbiling hard. Gerbiling cuts Heli lightly on the arm again. Uh, Heli knocks gerbiling with a mild blow to the ribs. Gerbiling stabs Heli. Heli hammers the wind right out of the gerbiling. Gerbiling. Gibberling, gerbling, whatever. <laughs> the gibberling jabs the ground where Heli dodged away. Uh, as Heli dodged away, Heli killed the gibberling. Heli takes from the <laughs> Heli takes from the following takes the following from the freshly sang, slain corpse of the gibberling: a small knife and six relics. You dig a hole and you put the corpse into it. You hear Heli ask Sienna for the uh, to forgive its sins and then fill up the hole. Oh, that's so sweet. Had ceremonies for him and stuff. So uh, let's head west from here. A dark tunnel. This rubble. Oh wait, 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 wait. Let's head back. All right. Uh, there's a small pile of straw. Look, straw. The straw looks as if it were a bed of a creature. It is matted and has bits of black fur snagged on it. Search straw. You search but fail to find anything of interest. Okay, there we go. Heading west, dark tunnel. Sorry? Does search room work? Uh, you can just do search by itself. Search. Um, if you have to be more specific, it's usually one of the items that's inside the description itself. So like search floor, search ground, search light, stuff like that. Uh, a dark tunnel. This rubble-filled hallway leads into the darkness to the west. A foul smell comes from the south while a glimmer of light beckons you east. A small, narrow crack is in the ground, disappears into the floor. The walls of the crack are narrow enough to climb into. Now, I don't think we have to go down. Let's just head south. Gibberling Home. You feel unsafe as you enter this room. Debris has fallen from the ceiling and is piled everywhere. It looks like the room might cave in at any moment. A nasty smell comes from the south wall where you discover an old mattress. Inside here, there are two gerblings. So I tell you what, I will attack gerbling gibberling one. You attack gibberling two, okay? All right. Magical vestments, or I got it. Uh, hammer and stone skin. Just making sure that I'm all set and ready. All right, kill gibberling one. Flame strike, wound, curse, gibberling one. Uh oh. Oh, oh, oh. I, I want to get in there. I didn't have my magical vestment on. Oh no. There we go. There you go. You got him. Flame strike. <laughs> this is huge fire. You raise your arms and cast flame strike spell. The gibberling is engulfed in small flames. I love that spell. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and bury him and grab his stuff. All right, let's take one more look. I'm gonna have you do this. Do search mattress. Okay. Okay, you're gonna have to read out what you see because we can't see it. You find that the bowl was a small jar, is what I got from it. You find that the bowl was a small jar? No, the bulge. Bulge, oh, uh, the mattress with the bulge in it, you grabbed a small jar out. So, get jar. Yeah. I think. Yep. Ellie takes the jar. <clears throat> so, let's head back north and east, 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 and north. Back into the large room. 
give jar to dwarf. The dwarf says, The jar is my cure. Did you give it to him? Yeah. Okay, you will have to read off the description because it did not give it to us. Old dwarf smiles to himself as he opens the jar. Old dwarf rubs the ointment from the jar on his eyes. The ointment glows brightly for a, a few seconds. Or dwarf jumps up and smiles at you. Thank you, you have done a good thing. I must go now and find my son. You feel more experienced? Old dwarf leaves south. You have been awarded four quest points for the quest entitled The Blind Dwarf. Woo! And that is the story of The Blind Dwarf. Thank you everyone for watching this mud story quest with me and Heli as we quest through the mud. Uh, I hope this has given you a little bit of insight of how to play the game, how to search for things, and what the quests are. This here is the reason I got so into the game. And I hope this sparked an interest in you. And I hope that you use these as like bedtime stories. Because, you know, they're fun and they're interesting and they're, they're a great way to learn how to read, type, problem solving. I highly recommend them. Heli, do you have any uh, last leaving comments to impress the world? Play the game, please. <laughs> Please, please play the game, please. I need more people to play with. No, it's absolutely fine. Actually, uh, uh, it, when it gets overcrowded, it's one that, ne never mind. I'll leave that for another time. Thank you everyone for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things that I'm supposed to call out at the end. If you need the actual address and stuff like that, it's gatewaymud.org, port 6969. Make sure you're using some kind of mush or mud client. All that information can be found inside my Discord in the link down below. Love you guys very much. Have a great night. And we'll talk to you very soon.